What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2 Xfinity Championship Series. And today, ladies and gentlemen, will be the final race of the round of eight for the third and final race at Phoenix, the Ticket Galaxy 200. Uh, the last race before the Championship 4, as we look at the playoff standings, right now we have a 33-point cushion. The only driver to advance so far is Daniel Suarez with the win at Kansas. Um, Allgaier, William Byron, are pretty much, we're pretty much solid in. Blake Cook and those guys are 33 points out. So just a good, consistent day in Phoenix. Uh, we don't have to worry about a win, but I would love to get my ninth win of the season here in Phoenix. So let's head out to the racetrack here in Phoenix at Phoenix International Raceway to see the race weekend. And we won here back in the spring, so looking for good things here today in Phoenix. So here we are in Phoenix. Um, give me one second, guys. All right, so here we go. Let's head out to the racetrack. We are going to qualify. And let's go qualify here in Phoenix. Oh, wide entry in the corner. Alright, I'll turn four. That's it for us, back Alright, 25th place qualifying the spot here in Phoenix for the Ticket Galaxy 200. So, who starts on the pole? Ty Dillon, Eric Jones. A lot of guys that need a win. So, here we go for the round of eight. Race number three, the elimination race. Who will make the championship okay, four for Jose? Green flag is underway. We start 25th here in Phoenix. Outside, real tight. Outside, still there. Alright, lap one is in the books. Easy, easy. And right now, Ty Dillon is the race leader. So, Ty Dillon wins. He's in the championship four. Doesn't matter what we do here in this race. We just got to make sure that nobody else, Blake Cook, Ty Dillon, a lot of these guys can't, easy, easy. can't win a race. So, we can't get up there. I hope somebody else doesn't keep these guys up there. Daniel Hammerk. But you guys, we gotta hope they have a, not a good day either. Oh, I got in the back of Tyler Reddick. I got in the back of Brad Keselowski. All clear, all clear. And they all, we all get through turn one and two. All right, well, gotta be smoother. Not gonna win the race in the first lap, Chris. Come on now. We're up to 15, so they're starting 25th. The bottom's clear. Looks like Eric Jones giving Ty Dillon a big battle right here. So I don't know how pit stops are going to work. Or how the race strategy is going to turn out. Goals basically get to the front. Excellent lap. I'm not worried about
about William Byron or Justin Allgaier. We're pretty much all in. Stage points and more is basically what we gotta try to collect. Hold your line. Oh, Brandon gone trying to hold the bottom. At least Sadler already up to the 12th. Hold your line. How's that? Still there. The bottom's clear. Oh, yeah. Wide. Stuck three wide. Jeremy Clemens, the winner in Texas, a race to go. Brandon gone got running on me. You're running no, back on them. Hold your line. Hold your line. Did Algar slip? Outside, hold your line. still there. Blake Cook trying to get into the postseason as well. Still there. He's outside. And we already climbed up to ninth spot. Just hearing six still laps. Out there. We got a fast race car. It's all about trying to just execute still to get a good finish here. Clear quick. Spots since the drop of the green flag. Hold your line. Clear high. Daniel Suarez already qualified for their homestead. Just looking to continue a good run. You know, William Byron has caught Eric Jones and Ty Dillon for the lead. Corner oh, faster than Daniel Suarez did, and Sadler up to fourth just like that. <coughs> All right, 18 laps to go. Closing on the front three. And these guys don't want to look behind them because Sadler is catching them. Jones finally got a run underneath Ty Dillon. Battle for the lead here in Phoenix. Yeah, Ty Dillon's trying to stay ahead of these guys. So right now, Eric Jones not in the championship picture. Wow, 38, 28, 30. Our fastest lap of the day. I mean, this car's got... We're, this is kind of the same thing what we did back in the spring. The car was really fast the entire run. And we're not really pushing it at all either. Well, 
14 to go in stage one. Eric Jones, the race leader. Oh, William Martin looking for the lead. Junior Motorsports has dominated the last couple of races. Except for Kansas. About 28-29. Alright, 12 to go. Meanwhile, Sadler has caught the leaders. Outside. Clear up top. We're in third. Leaders are catching flap traffic. So we're on Eric Jones. Clear up top. We have a fast race car. Outside, hold your line. I'm going to charge the corner. A little bit too much there. Crossover by Elliot Sattler. Going through the dog leg. Easy, easy. Clear quick. With nine laps to go, Junior Motorsports out in front once again here in Phoenix. Stage points only matter to a few of us. Not to all of us. Willie Byron trying to negotiate lap traffic here in Phoenix. Him and his teammate both trying to go through lap traffic. Stay on the bottom. Hold the steady wheel. Clear high. All, all right, seven to go in stage one. Oh, William Byron going on the outside. Any steering light? Hold the steering wheel. Oh, William Byron's gonna get caught by left traffic. Oh, Smilly! That made contact there. Trying to not to do it. The car out there. Hey, let the seller out in the lead. Clear high. Oh, Timmy Hill. I didn't want to run him over. Still there. He's outside. Well, here comes our teammate battling us for the lead. Five laps to go to stage one. We're gonna get in here. Lap traffic could play a role here in Phoenix. Still a car out there. Clear quick. Alright, we got clear. Stay on the bottom. Easy. <coughs> oh, clear excuse me. Out in front now and pulling away.
I think we're gonna stay out. I don't know if coming in pit road is really gonna make much of a difference here in, at the end of stage one. I'd rather have good tires for the end of the race, but we've seen lately that that's really not help, helped us out a lot. So Elliot's out, out in the lead here in Phoenix. Stage one. Ty Dillon in third. And Elliot Teller from twenty fifth to first. Elliot Seller will get stage one win here in Phoenix. Yes. Oh, everybody's coming down pit road. Um. You know what? I'm gonna stay out. I got, oh no, this. I really don't want to give up track position. Now we're gonna stay out. We got. I mean, so everybody came down pit road and pitted. How many laps to go? Ready. And here we are. Okay, be smart out there. We're going green. green flag in stage two. Still there. He's outside. Oh, and I did not get going very good. Ty Dillon. Still there. He's outside. Oh, me and Ty Dillon battling. Eric Jones, three wide. Who will have the lead going into the corner? Clear and Elliot Seller charges high. the corner. And Elliot Seller back out in front of Phoenix. I did, all I did there was just charge the corner, guys. Six laps on our tires. Start catching lap traffic with about 20 laps into the run. Elliot Tyler out in front of Phoenix. Log laps, see what we could get here in Phoenix. I know we're gonna have to pit at the end of stage two, around another 48 laps, but we're gonna have to come down. We're gonna take tires with some of the field already a lap down. We'll be able to start up front. Oh, and have you scraped the wall? Turn two, oh, turn four. Now we got our two teammates, yeah, our two teammates are right behind us. So Joe, Junior Motorsports once again put it on a show. We put on a show at Texas when I made it three wide on our two teammates. They've been pretty much beating us since the playoffs began, so. I 
I had to come out and show these guys that we need we need business and we need to get a win. But nobody in Junior March Sports has won a race in state in the in the round of eight. So we're trying to get that done here today. Uh, 20 to go in stage two. We started 25th and we made up our way up in the top five in a handful of laps. So I'm not worried about restarting back. Especially we're going to have like 40 laps to go. Lap traffic, everything more than likely could play, play in our favor. We are faster than our two teammates, so that's a good sign. Even with those tires, we're still the best car on the track. Seventeen to go in stage two. Got two tenth, uh, one point four second lead on our teammates. And our car just handles so good. We had that one mistake on turn four, and that was about it. Glad you got the restart. I didn't get a good launch off the start, off the finish line, but once I started the restart, but, and I gave these guys a good run on me. We went three wide in turn three, and once we got, we got cleared, making it three wide going in turn three, um, just threaded the needle, stayed in the gas, and it worked out for us, and we have a second and a half lead on our two teammates. see lap traffic up there in front and we're still running very solid laps so it's not like the car has to be running 28 29 our last lap was a 28 47 So it's not like we're, I mean, we were, we probably go slower this lap because I couldn't get through the corner. Yeah, we were a little bit off there. So we ran a 28.47 last lap. Let's see how fast I am here with older tires. Oh, I got the wall good there. Well, that hurt. That hurt quite a bit. All right, the car is getting tighter and tighter and tighter. ourselves back going here All right, we ran 2890 that time by we're still fast so
Halfway here in Phoenix. I think we're gonna have a 50 lap run to the checkered flag. It's just gonna be a matter where we're gonna start on the restart. Get held up a little bit as William Byron has taken over second from Allgaier. Oh, a little tight there. <sighs> Trying to pick up stage two in here in Phoenix. Well, they have caught us. <laughs> they got about 30 lap pressure tires than I do, but I'm going to still come down pit road for the final time at the end of the stage two, so I should be good. It's all about how I get through lap traffic. They might have a better car right now than us. Drop to the drop to the apron to the dog leg. All clear, all clear. Inside, he's on your bumper. Just us being tight. Car is there. Inside, he's on your bumper. Oh, uh, losing Stephen Light as a pick. All clear. Clear out low. Oh, someone's in the wall. Turn four. Outside. Oh, and it's clear quick. Ben Kennedy. Wow. Inside, inside. Oh, William Byron got checked out by the two lap cars. Get to the bottom, get to the bottom. Easy, easy. Looks like Ben Kennedy blew right front tire. Oh, Smitley, you're making it trying to pass. Uh, Red Black Jr. and it's costing me time to William Byron. Still there. Oh, don't hit that inside wall. All clear, all clear. Alright, we got our teammate boxed in. We're two to go here in stage two. Here we go. Last lap of stage two. We're gonna run 56 laps on 56 laps on these tires. Now let's have a look at first sweep of stage one and two here in Phoenix. Old tires started hurting us there toward the end of the to the end of the run. They were able to make a run. Of course, we smacked the wall hard. I'll turn four, but here we are. We're going to get stage two number win in Phoenix. 20 points max of the day so far for Elliot Sadler. And we're going to come down pit road. Ty Dillon's gotten some good points. So then he's got, so with less than 30 laps to go, 30, with less than 40 laps to go, um, see what happens. And that's what's going to end up happening is that we're going to come down pit road and we're going to restart at least 30th. We're going to restart in the 30th position.
So here we go. Are you ready? Are you Final ready? stage in Phoenix. Green. Who will make the championship it's, uh, for with 38 laps to go? It's a uh, good drive off here. Inside, inside. Clear, clear. Outside. Wow, Matt Schiff so back here in 28th. Wow. Struggle for him today. Hold the bottom. Hold your line. Outside, hold your line. Ty Dillon chasing William Byron. Still there, he's outside. Clear all around. Still a car out there. All clear, all clear. Hold on. Gotta run on Michael and Ned. Easy, easy. Clear, driver. Sadler working the high line. Hold your line. Inside, still there. Inside, good drive off here. Clear <laughs> <laughs> we, we for it, man. Oh, we forced it. Clear all around. Yeah, because I saw William, uh, Ryan Reed go way high. He's been running high in turn three and four. And Daniel Hamrick, I'm kind of surprised Daniel Hamrick hasn't run very well in this race. He's running pretty good at all the short tracks. Clear low, stay low. Hold steady wheel. I'm going to the seller. He's pretty much the best car on the racetrack, like he has been all race long. Inside, he's on your bumper. Still there, he's outside. All clear. So after pitting at the end of stage two, we're already back up to 14th. Restart at 30th, 31 laps to go. Outside, hold your line. All clear, all clear. We don't need to win this race, but we also got to make sure that Brendan Poole, uh, not Brendan Poole, but it's all Brendan Poole, uh, Ty Dillon doesn't win the race. Blake Cook having a struggling race today. Thought he would be in the top five. Just a couple guys I thought would run better than they are. Wow, Justin Allgaier is struggling right now. Just kind of taking care of the race car right now, not trying to make any moves. The leader is only what, five seconds ahead? Oh, the car out there. make it three wide. I just got tired of Brendan Poole throwing a block like that. So here we go, 28 left to go. 
Air Phoenix. Championship four is on the line. Darrell Wallace Jr., the winner back in Daytona in, February, in the first race of the season. He got knocked out after the first round. The round of 16, or the round of 12. Yeah, the round of 12. So we dominated the first round, uh, the second round. I believe we led all the 27 laps. So that's what we got now. We're got five laps to go. Or part where I can't talk right now. Excuse me, guys. I'm just tired. Stay on the bottom. Been a long week. Oil. We're literally five seconds behind our teammate. We're probably gonna catch them as soon as they get in lap traffic. Oh, Eric Camarola opening the door. All right, 25 laps to go. All clear, driver. Hope you guys are enjoying the race. As always, drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. It's been a fun race so far. Start 25th, made our way up to the front. Let one stage one, dominated stage two, leading all the laps. Came down pit road, put tires on after everybody had pitted at the end of stage one. Trying to march our way through the field and trying to make the championship four. The only driver to do so up to this point is Daniel Suarez with his win at Kansas. Uh, the three drivers that were in uh, were me, Justin Allgaier, and William Byron, the Junior Motorsports teammates. Still a car out there. So, I mean, we were all pretty close together. Stay low, stay low. So we're up to seven, oh, anyway. getting around Suarez, who he doesn't really have to worry about much. He's already in the homestead. Clear high, quick. We literally cut down the lead to our teammate by a second already. Still there, he's outside. All clear, all clear. I believe that's Jeremy Clemens in front of me. Jeremy Clemens won at Texas a race to go. He got around me in the closing laps. I had paused the game. Uh, and when I restarted it, I just wasn't, I didn't know where I was at on the racetrack and it cost me bad. And I ended up dropping the lead and finishing, I believe, third. I believe that's Brennan gone in second. His Ty Dillon's back here in third, it looks like. Yeah, we closed, we closed up on the leader. We're going to even close up a lot more. Leader is in heavy traffic right now. Outside. Clear quick. Low, low. Oh, Jimmy, I slipped off the corner and couldn't get around. Oh, brand new leader. Brandon gone taking the lead here in Phoenix. Low, low. Oh, Jeremy Clemens. 
He is giving me such a hard time in some of these races. Clear all around. William Byron got held up by traffic. And Brennan Gaunt has taken the lead. Looking for his first win this season. Came close at Road America. Ty Dillon trying to get away on William Byron. I believe he will here. Remember Ty Dillon trying to win this race. Fourth now. Still a car out there. Clear high. Oh, Valley Ty Dillon. This is not what Ty Dillon needs to see is Carl Long block Saddler. Ty Dillon trying to win this race. Outside. Clear low. And we're going to clear. We're in second. guys did pit after the first stage so these guys have worn out tires compared to us and Brennan Gaunt is right in front of us All right, 13 to go. We have won eight races of the year. We have not won since Bristol. This is probably the best race we've run pretty much since Charlotte and Texas. Uh, we ran great in Texas, finished third. After I paused the game and I forgot where I was at, I was in the middle of a corner and just lost all the momentum and ended up getting passed by Jeremy Clemens. But here we are battling for the lead. We've had the best car all race long. All three wide with Brandon oh, gone. All clear, all clear. I'm trying to get the win. Oh, JD really slows burning gone down a little bit. Still a car out there. Alright, this time by 10 to go. They're high, quick. Alright, 10 laps to go here in Phoenix, guys. Seller with the run for the lead. Nine laps to go. Burning. Oh, we're gonna get the run. We've had the best car on entry, and we're gonna take the lead from Burning on here. Elliot Seller back out in front, but Burning on is not it's letting me go. Battling hard on the inside. Clear, clear. Drive it hard into turn three, and we're gonna clear him. And we're gonna try to start pull away. We have not swept all three stages in quite some time. Looking to do so here in Phoenix.
what a race performance by us. Still a car out there. All clear. And Ty Dillon looks like he's just not going to get nowhere. Justin Ongar has made it to the top five. As it stands right now, we will qualify for Homestead. On board the Elliott Saddler. Clear low, stay low. Easy, easy. Clear high. Alright, just making sure I didn't. Clear up top. Alright. I'm not very good at doing the cockpit with you guys, so give me a break. Uh. Especially here in Phoenix where there's a pit, the pit walls right there and I'm afraid I'm going to hit it every time I misjudge. So, a few laps to go. It's been a great performance race for us. This run started to the checker flight. We made our way. We started 30th. Hold steady wheel. All clear. And we charged our way through the field. And here we are, three laps away from the checkered flag. Now we did have a race in Texas back in the spring. One, but a caution, late caution came out. Could that change happen here? There's no guarantees until the checkered flag. Still a car out there. Oh, caution comes out. I called it. Oh my goodness, man. Are we serious? <laughs> well, Daniel Suarez is pitting. He has really nothing to lose. Oh man. I just love this. Every single time I think I got a win in the books and a caution flag comes out. Thanks for that boy, I appreciate it man. But a caution here late. NASCAR overtime here in Phoenix. Here we go. Ready. Steady. Nice and smooth here, we're going green. Outside. We just struggle on restarts. We're burning on looking to get out. Oh, I didn't get going good. That time I did not have a good restart. But we've been good in three and four all race long. Stay low, stay low. Still a car out there. Here we go, side by side. I'll turn four. Oh, can't clear. Oh, here goes Eric Johnson. I almost get turned. All that blocking. It's gonna. Oh, pay off. Can't get through the corner. I did. Oh, burning on was looking. No chance. I'm gonna let that happen again. Oh, I drive too hard in the corner. Oh, turn four. We're going to punch your ticket to Homestead. We sweep all stages in Phoenix. Man, that restart. I thought I lost this race. I really did. I didn't know how that restart was going to work out. And we got the win. Alright. Got the win. Thanks, fat boy. Appreciate you, man. We're going to win here in Phoenix. And what a good race it was. So there you go, guys. Point standings in the books. We put ourselves in the homestead no matter what. <coughs> So we get our ninth win of the year. Our ninth win of the season comes in the round of eight, the final race. So I set the fastest lap of the race at 28-29. Uh, 
Uh, led the most laps of the race at 47 laps. Biggest mover of the race, I start 25th, I finish first. Daniel Suarez starts seventh and finishes in 23rd after a tough break, but he did come down late. It didn't matter for him. He was already at Homestead for the championship four. So the championship round up next, guys. It's coming up very soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment that we were all waiting for has finally got here. We won. We're in the championship four for the Ford EcoBoost 400. The four drivers that will compete, me, Justin Allgaier, Daniel Suarez, and William Byron, pretty much the same three guys other than Daniel Suarez that have competed all year long for wins. My, the teammates, Virginia Motorsports, Daniel Suarez got the win at Kansas to put himself in the race. So, whew, excited, nervous, because I don't know what, what Homestead is going to be like. If you guys... Want to check some interesting out? Check out the truck series let's play I did, the Ford EcoBoost 200 on my channel. Uh, and one of the craziest truck series battles I've ever had in it, at the Homestead Miami Speedway. So maybe more of the same, don't know. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I'm Hot in Evolution, and I'll see you guys for the Ford EcoBoost 300 for the championship for who will win the championship in Homestead. I'm out in evolution, and I'll see you guys later. You're gonna win. Thanks, fat boy. I appreciate it, man.